What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffman here back with another video. Today I've got a tutorial on how to switch over ballast shop lights to these LED lights that I have right here. No idea what this brand is and to be honest with you I'm not really sure I know exactly what I'm doing. So I guess this is like a tutorial for dummies but I've got a few of them already switched so I'm going to show you guys how I did it and then you can take it and run with it. These lights were put in in like 1990 and I'm sure the bulbs have been replaced since then but the same ballast that are in the you know each of these uh, light fixtures so we're gonna switch it over to these LEDs and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started first things first cut your lights off not a good idea to try to do it with the lights on it's not gonna end well for you these bad boys I actually don't think the bulbs in these are bad I think the ballast is going bad because these come on half the time and are off half the time. So get these hunks of junk out of here. Alright. Step number two is gonna be to take these. Man, it's hot. My bad. Take these ballast covers off. Okay, so there's a lot of shit here that I really don't know what exactly is going on, but this has got our power cables and then the cables that run to each tombstone. Some of this we're not going to use that's already in here. Really all we need are our white power cable, a black power cable, don't know what the hell they're called, one's a neutral. One something else, a hot wire, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, this is for dummies. And then I've also got my four cables that are running to each tombstone. We're only going to need one from each of those tombstones. So I take these little connectors off, get out the wires that we need. No electricity. <laughs> that shit would have knocked me all the way off this ladder. <laughs> Oh god. Call an ambulance. There's a lot more wire in this than the other ones, so this might require a little trial and error. So in the other fixtures, there was only one power cable coming out. One of these. Now there's three of each. Okay, so since we have three of each, I'm just gonna leave the three together and continue on with connecting it like I was going to if they were just one because they were all connected as if it was one cable anyways. And it's possibility that these are all in sequence. So to protect not effing it up, I'm just gonna keep all these together and keep these together and we'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, this wouldn't be a very good tutorial, so. Now we have our two power cables. I'm gonna cut that off back there at the ballast. It looks like they didn't have enough wire the first time. Normally that's not like that. And then we're gonna cut these off right here. So we'll save this just in case we need it, which I think we will, at least the white wire. All right, so now we have our four wires running from our tombstones we've got two whites two blacks i'm not going to use these so these are going to be basically junk and we're just going to use these two middle wires from each tombstone and we're going to take these and we're going to connect them to our black so this is going to be one hell of a connection here like I said, normally I would only connect one of those, but we're gonna try to make it work with these big red ones, assuming that's why it was like that. Okay. So, we've got our black hooked to the two middle cables. 
from each tombstone. These are useless. I'm not going to use them. All right. Sorry for the start. I didn't have a light turned on on my camera. I didn't know how visible it was. So at least we'll have a light moving forward. So we're going to save these three. We're done on this side. Now we're going to move over to the back side of the fixture and cut our wires from our ballast and go from there. I'm just going to cut it at the ballast just to ensure that um, this wire is going to be long enough to make it to the other side. Because what we're going to do is have to take this red and blue. We only have one wire coming from each tombstone on this side versus the other side we had four. So we only need to take these two and run it across and hook it to our white power. But I think what I'm going to do is just cut this off and then use these two to connect to my white and run my white to there. So we're going to cut these. I'm just gonna leave this mess on here. I mean, they're all connected, so as long as it works, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with it. What Seth said is, can I not just untangle this and run it all the way to the other side? I could, but they're not gonna reach, so I'm still gonna have to put a wire in between the two. So I might as well just do this, and it's gonna save me time from untangling all this mess, because we're just shoving it all up under the underneath the case, anyways. All right, so here's our white. We don't need this black anymore. So that's gonna have to run all the way over there and connect to here. Take our wire pliers. Get that. And do the same for these two. myself in the chest okay so now we got our naked ends on all of our wires we're gonna tie those together screw them together with one of these yellow boys there we go so it doesn't look the prettiest but it just saves us a step and doesn't really matter because it's all gonna be hidden anyways all right now this is gonna run all the way back over here and we're gonna connect it back to our whites. So you may be asking yourself, is that the proper way to do it? I have no earthly idea. All I know is this is how I'm doing it and the shop's not burning down and the lights come on. So I guess use this method at your own risk, but it may look like a, a pile of shit or whatever this is, but I promise you it'll at least work. And that's what we're after. You know, we're not, we're not here for, uh, for fancy wire. Fancy wire, whatever, organization. That's the word I'm looking for. All right. There may be somebody on YouTube that's done this with way more instruction. And is way better at teaching you, but if you clicked on this video, you probably pretty much knew what you were in for anyway. You watched any of my other videos come on you bastard well oh, that wasn't good <laughs> Fuck. all right now <laughs> i'm about to be too short <laughs> never had that problem before there we go okay ah So we're gonna connect this back with our white power cables that we pulled out originally. Like I said, normally this is just one. I don't know exactly why there's three, but we're gonna do this anyways. Might, it might, it might catch on fire, right? To be honest, I really, I don't know. Where's my other red one? And as far as I know, I don't think any of this stuff has been touched since it was put in wiring wise. So this is exactly how it was in 80s and early 90s that didn't sound good I'm not 
sure that my small wire is in there. I don't think so. Yeah, Not really looking like it. Is it in there? Yeah. If not, it's not going to come on, and uh, I'll have to take it back out and redo it. Make sure our little lips are back in where they're supposed to be. Make sure we're covering both sides. And then this thing should just twist back in. There she is. Do the same thing for this left side. Put wires back up in here. These are our wires we didn't use. Moment of truth. <laughs> I need to put a hole in the insulation. Not that there's not 40 holes in it already. Um, so, I know my buddy did the same thing in his race shop and they weren't tombstone. I don't, they were a different type of end. I don't think it really changes how you put them in, but. These are really easy to put in. They just slide right in, pop in, rotate over. Grab my second one. <clears throat> All right. And voila. So I probably should have showed you, well, they were out, I guess, when I started this, but you can see the difference in what the original ballast lights put out versus the LEDs here. So these are our lights that we use. Well, this, not, this isn't a sponsored video. We did buy these, they weren't given to me. I know nothing about these lights other than putting them in here, but I guess that's Icosun. They're T8 LED tube lights. This is what they look like in the box. So yeah, that's pretty much, you know, Switching a ballast shop light to an LED for dummies. So hopefully you learned something. I don't know if this is useful. Let me know in the comments how many times I screwed up the terminology. Uh, or let me know in the comments if this was useful. Or if you're doing the same thing in your shop. So I know a lot of people are switching to LEDs. And they do look a lot better. And they last a lot longer. And they're a lot cheaper. So uh, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.